Good morning, Pastor Luke Rex here with Heritage Baptist Church. I want to thank you for joining me this morning for our daily connection. It's Monday, so it is MMA, Monday Morning Application. We have been spending many weeks going through the book of Colossians at our church, and we just finished with uh, chapter 1 and 2 this previous week, which is a very strong doctrinal section of that book. We transitioned to chapter 3 now this past Sunday, just yesterday, and spoke about really two commands that that Paul gives us in this text. As we transition to chapter 3, we we see that it is like the practical side of the book. It's the application, really, of the things that were true, because Paul starts with saying, therefore, in chapter 3. Therefore, because of all that stuff that's true of you, the fact that you are 100% complete in Jesus Christ, by your faith in Jesus Christ, that and therefore he he speaks on two commands, and he talked about um, seeking the things above, and he talked about setting our minds on the things above, and we associated that with the idea of desiring the things above and prioritizing the things above. And I realize that for all of us, you know, it's hard sometimes for us to to truly desire those things above, like even though we want that. I think every Christian that's been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ, if you ask them, they would say, absolutely, I want to be seeking and setting my mind on the things above. Yet this world really does distract us with all of the stuff that it has, all the lures that's out there or that are out there. And uh, it it can become challenging for us all. I, I hope that with the message yesterday, you were encouraged, but that you weren't just encouraged with the reality of your completeness in Christ, but that with that, you kind of felt that burden a bit of, now that I have received this tremendous gift from God, you know, I am, there's there's an expectation that I, that I at least strive to live in a way that's, that's honoring to God and worthy of what he's done for, for us. And, uh, So that seeking the things and setting our minds on the things is how Paul starts in this chapter with speaking to us about it. And and I get that it's it's a challenge. Let me encourage you today on this Monday morning application, if you didn't find time yesterday, to find some time today to go through and evaluate those things that maybe just rob us of opportunity to serve the kingdom of God. Um. If you remember in the message, we spoke about the average number that the uh, average Americans have each week of spare time. And and I know it's different for everybody. And I know there's a lot of people probably watching this that say, yeah, that may be true for for the average American, but I've got so many things going on. I absolutely do not have 30 to 40 hours of spare time a week. And maybe that is true for you, but but I think if we really evaluated our lives, we probably could find out that we do have a significant amount of spare time, that maybe God is calling you to invest into something in ministry with that time that he's given you. And when I think about time, what I remember is, or what where my mind is directed is a passage in Romans where it speaks about it, it basically is a call to for us to awaken. It says, wake up and and understand this truth that your salvation is nearer to you today than it was just yesterday. And the whole point of that is this reality that every day that goes by, we, we just lost another day. And time is one of those things that we never get back. You know, we can invest money and lose it and earn money back. We, we can actually damage relationships with things maybe that we did or said and go through the proper procedures of, of mending that relationship and, and asking for forgiveness and bring restoration to that and kind of gain that relationship back. But when time is gone, time is gone. We, we don't get that one back. And that passage that says, wake up because today you are nearer to your salvation than yesterday. You just lost another day. And I hope that we can encourage each other. I'm going to strive to make every day count for the kingdom of God. And and that obviously doesn't mean that every day and all day I have to spend in my closet praying or 
out on the streets evangelizing or, or and it, it, I'm not necessarily saying that, but, but there is absolutely time in every day to say, I'm not going to invest in the things of the world, but I'm going to invest in the things above. I'm going to seek those things above. I'm going to desire that over the things of this earth. I'm going to I'm going to set my mind on the things above. I'm going to prioritize those things in in heaven, the the work for the kingdom, than my work here on earth. And let me just encourage you today, church, and anyone else who's watching this, to not allow this day to go by without redeeming that day and and using it for the kingdom of God and, and pouring yourself into a ministry or a service to the kingdom of God. That is us seeking the things above. That is us setting our minds on things above. And let me encourage you to do that today. Be praying for you. I hope that you're praying for me also. And I can't wait for us to be able to get back together and worship together and see if our, each other's faces and shake hands and hug, give hugs and all that kind of good stuff. I'm, I'm excited for that time to come. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling like it's drawing near. So stay strong through this time. I know it's been difficult, but stay strong. Stay connected the best you can. And today, redeem the day. Use it for the kingdom of God. God bless you and have a wonderful day.